know I am eating the most delicious, the most cute little mini meatloaves that are perfect for those of us that are on the keto and low carb lifestyle. Full of flavor, delicious, uh, it cooks fast, and it's easy to make. Everything that you want in a delicious meal, and I'm gonna show you how to make it. If you're new here to Sincerely Legenia, welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope that you consider subscribing. If so, just click the subscription button below, and then go ahead and click the notification bell right next to it so that you know every time I upload a brand new video. All right, let's get right on into this one because it is definitely a keeper. All right, guys, so the first thing we're going to do is preheat our oven to 350 degrees so that it's ready whenever it's time to put our little mini meatloaves in. And now we're going to saute our onions. So I'm going to add some avocado oil to an already hot skillet. And to it, we're gonna add our chopped onions. And I do want to note, guys, that I am making a, a two-person version of this. The version on my website is going to be for a family of five. So um, here I'm just gonna show you the steps, but know that you can make a larger portion of this through the recipe on my website. All right, so we're gonna allow this to cook. And to this, we're gonna get some fresh thyme leaves. All right, I have my fresh thyme sprigs here. And let me show you how we're just going to get the leaves off of here. Just pull them back and toss them on in there. And after a while, after a few seconds, you should be able to smell that fresh thyme. And just a couple of small sprigs should be just fine. Actually, I think I'm gonna add one more in. Oh yeah. Got that going. And to this, I'm gonna add some salt. I'm going to add some pepper. And by now you should be able to smell those delicious onions and that fresh thyme, it smells so good. All right, we're gonna let those continue to cook until our onions are translucent in color. All right guys, so our onions are done. I'm gonna turn this off now. To our onions, I'm gonna add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Little squeeze of tomato paste. And I'm going to add a little bit of chicken stock. <clears throat> this is just additional flavor that we're going to add to our ground meat. And it's gonna also keep our meatloaf moist while it's cooking in the oven. There's nothing <laughs> worse than um, thinking you're getting ready to bite into a delicious bite of meatloaf and it's dry and hard and flavorless. This is gonna keep it moist and flavorful. All right, so let's mix that up, get it well combined because this is gonna go directly into our meat mixture. So we wanna make sure it is well combined. And remember to keep your heat off. We're not gonna turn the heat back on. We want this mixture to be completely cooled before we add it into our meat mixture. All right, so that's good. All right, so we're gonna let this stay over here on this side and cool. In the meantime, let's go and get our ground beef mixed together. All right, guys, so I have my ground beef mixture here. The first thing I'm going to do is put egg. We need egg in our mixture. Now, in the recipe on my website, it's gonna call for two eggs again because I'm making um, two individual portions of this meatloaf here. So um, one egg will suffice. But the steps are all still the same. So be sure to follow the recipe on my website. So to this, I'm going to add egg, and then I'm not gonna even add all of the egg, again, because of the amount of ground beef I have in here. I'm going to add pepper. We're going to add pink Himalayan salt. 
And now we're going to add our onion mixture that has cooled. We're gonna add that into our bowl. Now, generally this recipe would call, call for breadcrumbs. I am not gonna be using breadcrumbs because this is a keto friendly recipe. If you have keto friendly breadcrumbs, then go ahead and use a fourth of a cup of the breadcrumbs in that mixture. That information will also be on my website. But this particular recipe is perfectly fine without it. All right, so I'm gonna wash my hands and then we're gonna go in and mix this together. All right, let's mix it up. mixture is mixed together really well. I'm not going to lie, this smells really good already. Unbelievable. All right, so I've got my two um, ceramic dishes that I'm going to be using for this particular recipe. I'm not going to bother to grease them down any. I think that they should be just fine because there should be enough fat in the beef to actually keep our ground beef from sticking. So with that being said, I'm going to divide the mixture as best as I can, and I'm going to shape it once it gets in the ceramic dish. All right. All right, so it's just easy. Guys, you can use a ceramic dish for this. You can use a foil pan for this. Um, I have these two here, and because of the amount of mixture that I have left, this is just some ground beef I had left over that I want to use up. Because of the amount of mixture that I have, I don't really have enough to fit into my um, foil loaf pans. So I think this right here, actually, uh, actually these are gonna be really great, to be honest with you, in terms of the amount. So I'm just going to pat these in here really well. You guys, if you are not able to smell the mixture and the seasonings that are in the mixture, then you have not seasoned it well. You should be able to smell all of those seasonings and all of that flavor we put in that mixture even before it's done. So if you're not smelling it, that means you did not put enough in there. Go back and add more flavor to your meat mixture. We want it to be flavored exceptionally well. All right, guys, I have set our individual meat loaves on a lined baking sheet and we're gonna put this in a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes or until the internal temperature reaches about 150 to 165 degrees. And in the meantime, we're gonna get our top mixture ready to go on top. So let's put these in the oven now. All right, guys, now let's get our mixture together, our topping together for our meatloaves. So right now I have in this bowl, I have some no sugar added, just regular Heinz ketchup. My bottle is empty, I've used just about all of it. But this is it here, no sugar added ketchup. So what I'm going to do is go in with my Sincerely Legenia all-purpose seasoning, good stuff, you guys. If you have not ordered any of this, make sure you get some of this. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this. And then we're going to add a little bit of the Lakantos Golden Sugar. And this is just to give it um, a little bit of sweetness. All right, I'm gonna give that a taste. Mm, perfect. All right, we're gonna keep this set to the side until our meatloaves are ready. All right, everybody, our mini meatloaves are ready for the tomato sauce mixture to go on top. So I'm gonna pull these out and you guys see how they have shrunk some. Of course, all of that fat has cooked off of them. All right, so we've got our little mini meatloaves out of the oven and they have shrank significantly. Doesn't matter, they're going to still be delicious. So what we're gonna do now is get this delicious tomato-y, ketchup-y sauce that we made full of all of those seasonings, that Sincerely Legenius seasoning and then that Lakanto. Uh, golden sugar and we're gonna put this all over the top. We're just gonna slather it on here guys. 
Oh, I love the sauce on the meatloaf. Put as little or as much as you would like. I like a lot, so I'm putting a lot, <laughs> okay? Put all over. All right, guys, we've got this sauce on and now we're gonna put it back in the oven till the uh, tomato sauce has set and then we're gonna take it out and give it a taste. Mini meatloaves are ready. the oven let me let you see that I did do a close-up of these so you can see what it looks like close up it smells divine and uh, let's dig in so we can see how it tastes I already know it tastes good cut me a nice piece here and guys this would go great with the cauliflower mash um, they even have the palm mash now that I'm gonna be trying the hearts of palm mash that I'll be trying on camera here for you guys really really soon but either of those, any of your favorite low-carb veggies, this would be perfect with. Let's give it a taste. You guys, the sauce on this is so delicious. I mean, I wish I had put a little bit more on there. The flavor all the way through, you can definitely taste the thyme in here, the onions, the Worcestershire sauce, unbelievably delicious so full of flavor and again the tomato sauce on top just tops it off this is definitely the ultimate comfort food and you guys are going to love this one you can find this recipe on sincerelylegenia.com head on over there and check it out Okay, everybody, that's it for today's video. These mini meatloaves are fantastic. Again, head over to sincerelylegenia.com and get this recipe, give it a try, and I guarantee you will be very, very pleased. Guys, that is it for today's video. Thanks so much for joining me for another episode here on Sincerely Legenia. Until the next video, it is my prayer that you and your family have a blessed and a prosperous day, and I'm gonna talk to you next time right here on Sincerely Legenia. Bye.